Hello. Today I will show you how to send an email message with a library called MailKit. The MailKit library is an open source library, so it's free to use and it's also recommended by Microsoft to, uh, that you should be used for this kind of purpose. So I have created a console application called MailKit Demo YouTube version 1. And in this console application, I have already installed the mail kit. So if you need to do it, go to manage nugget package, browse and press mail kit and install. Uh, it's already installed on my local project here. So I will add a class called mail service. And in this mail service, I will make it public. And to use the, the MIME kit, uh, we have to begin with mime message equal message equal new mime kit no mime message so we have a warning here and that is because we are not using the mime kit that we just installed as a nugget package so it will be added here uh, let's create a, pri uh, a public class first public void send message and in this uh, uh, my message we have to define from whom are we sending the message new mailbox address uh, so we have to add a mailbox address and I it's it's from my private one and it we will always use my private one when we are using this class so I will create a private read only string from equal my private Uh, and I can add it here and then I also have to define uh, to whom I'm sending the message new mailbox address and to whom we are sending it we can add a string here called to so it's a re so this class will be reusable for different kind of users and then we also have to add a subject uh, that the mail will be containing and we can use uh, we can add it as an argument here subject uh, furthermore we have to define the body text so we say text body uh, no we do body sorry body equal new text part and we call it it should be a plain text and the text is equal to something we're adding as an argument here. Uh, so now we finish with the my message. We will use an SMTP client. So we do do using var client equal new SMTP SMTP client client. And it gives an, us a warning that we are not able to use this word. The intelligent, intelligent doesn't recognize it. And that is because we do not have a reference to using mailkit.net SMTP. So I will press here and it will be added up here. So now when we're using the mail kit, we're going to say client. Uh, we're going to make some server val certificate validation callback. And we won't do any certification, so we do just like something like this. Uh, it's true. And this is something I got from the description of this library uh, for demo, 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 no validation. Furthermore, we also have to make client authentication, uh, and in the authentication, we have to define mail and password we already have the mail so from uh, from my message up here and then we will add the password so we make private read read only oops read only string uh, password equal test so i will change that very soon 
but you guys won't see that because then you will know my password and then finally we're gonna do client dot send Oops. and what are we going to send yeah we're gonna send the my message here so this my message will contain from whom we're sending to whom we're sending the subject and the body the text body and then we're gonna do client dot disconnect equal to true to disconnect so now in our main project we're gonna do mail service make a reference to that mail service and then we're going to do ms dot send message and here we can s see that we need to define to whom we're sending it and I'm going to do amjaco dot hotmail dot com to myself I'm going to the subject going to be uh, YouTube and the body text will be hello YouTube so I will just uh, oh it's complaining here why is it complaining non email call okay let's go check here what have I done send a message jun, 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 jun. okay mail server whoa why? oh yeah I forgot new of course I will go change my password now uh, up here but you guys won't see that because then you know my password so I'll be right back so my password password has been changed so now with this method send message we, we will be able to send an email message uh, I just noted that I forgot one thing and that is defining the client connect so we have to do client dot connect and here we have to define the host I will be using the host SMTP mail outlook dot com but there are several other hosts for example if you use Gmail you have this host uh, so it's easy to find what kind of host you need to use depending on what your email type is mine is outlook so I'm using the outlook uh, host and the port I will be using is 587 there are several different ports but the most common ports for SMTP are the following ones are 25 2525 and 587 now when we ha have all this I can just start the project it will begin and it will shut down because we don't have read only here so now I will receive a message here. Uh, too bad. Okay, let's go like that then. Here we can see I have YouTube. Hello YouTube. Uh, yeah, to myself. And the subject is YouTube. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial. And uh, see you at the next one.